Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you of the power of your attitude. Our attitude is really another, another word for our perspective on life, on our journey, on what we experience. Along my journey, I've seen how my attitude has manifested the situations that I was in. Good, bad, or indifferent. And it wasn't until I got a little bit more experience along the way where I began to appreciate more the attitude of gratitude the attitude of positivity. I could, I could look back on my life and that's been a, a consistent theme as far as having a positive outlook. Now that's a certain periods. Do I have my dark cloud times as well? Not perfect. But at the times where, okay, I could say at the times where I was challenged most it was because I allowed my attitude of positivity to diminish. And I got caught up in the perspective and the negativity of others. I am not blaming them at all. No, it was my choice. It was a power that I gave away that I didn't even understand. It was uh, vital to how I see the world. And to be honest with you, Many issues that I've had with people in the past, present, and probably in the future was because of my positive outlook. It would bother them. It would, uh, it appeared to challenge them. And by challenge, I mean me showing up positive or have a positive outlook on certain things, certain aspects of life, it almost appeared to challenge their reality. And because they seen it as a challenge, they would contribute extra energy to keep me out of that positive mentality. And I'll be honest with you, Beautiful experience. This is not me saying I'm a victim at all. Nah. Because just as much as I see myself in a positive light in certain areas, I was also promoting negativity and didn't realize it. Had no idea. But once I knew, oh, something got to change. This is not okay. Okay. I share this because as I uh, reflect on certain things in my life and I'm very much appreciative for where I am right now in my life, I could see how much my attitude played a role. Point blank period. And even more so, I could see how much my environment and my relationships changed once I changed my attitude whether for the good or the bad. Interestingly enough, I did realize that for myself and my reality on my journey, the more negative I was, the more people I had around me. Realizing that helped me understand what I had to do for myself. I had to step away because there's a saying, misery loves company. And although I did not understand nor take accountability for my own misery, I will find solace and peace in knowing that, man, I'm not going through this alone because this person got issues, that person, but everybody got issues just to an extent. But I've had times where I would get so deep in it 
so deep in the muck and the mire with others that all we would do was sit around and complain. All we would do was sit around and bicker. All we would do would slowly but surely take away parts of each other, pick at each other. Man, it didn't feel good. <laughs> it did not feel good. And I, I mean, for as long as I can remember, that's what I knew. Doesn't mean it's right. So as I slowly begin to change that, I begin to change the environment around me. I begin to inspire others to do more or want to maneuver a certain way. And I didn't even know it. On the other side of that, it also brought certain elements of, uh, I would say jealousy to an extent, whether they understood it or not. Uh, I could say resentment, whether they understood it or not. But I could see that the things that I kept a positive attitude about when I moved forward in it for a period, I had many people with me. And by many, I mean five or 10. Popularity when you're young is so fickle. But as I was going through that period, they got a point where my positivity or my positive outlook on life, period, my attitude on life, period, surpassed the ceilings of others. I didn't feel I was better. Not at all. But what I began to see was it was as if instead of us all moving together as a unit, and this is friendship, this family, this can be work environment, doesn't matter. They all played out. They all played out the same. It was okay as long as I get I didn't get too far from what they're used to. But once I passed that threshold of what they were used to, it brought a different side out of them. It also brought a different side out of me. It was an interesting mix. What I began to see was it's okay to not be part of the group. It's okay to have a strong will and have a positive attitude or a grateful outlook on life. That is okay. But I used to be of the mind of if I'm positive, the world needs to be positive. Or if I'm doing good, everyone should cheer me on. <laughs> Foolish. <laughs> Foolish. So where I am now in my life is an understanding of my attitude does create the reality that I know of. And I'm not ashamed of that. More importantly, it helped me find peace within myself and understand that the only person who needs to understand me is me. So even as I share these experiences or uh, these insights that I may put on this channel, it truthfully comes down to me being honest and giving a testimony of something I've seen in my whole life. Because even if, I, even if I've heard these messages when I was younger, I didn't listen to them. So maybe speaking on some of these topics will help one person see something a little bit differently. No matter what, it's okay. As you move along your journey, I hope you embrace the power of your attitude and know that whatever attitude that you have will be reflected back to you in a magnitude like you wouldn't imagine. So think about whatever you like. Feel how you feel about whatever you like. That's fine. But know that it will come back to you tenfold. If you sow the attitude of being peaceful, sow that attitude, nourish it. And opportunities for you to display and express that will come to you tenfold, if not more. It will bear fruit. If you have an attitude of you are the victim, Tenfold, you will get opportunities and situations that prove that you are the victim. 
I learned that the hard way too. No matter what, it comes down to our choices. So when we make these choices, let's make sure we do it from a place of peace. Let's make sure we do it knowing that our attitude plays a huge part. There's no need to go out and conquer the world. You find peace within yourself, you'll find it outside of you too. I think that's a good place to stop it for now. If you don't do nothing else today, smile and know that God loves you.